with chapter 5 coming to the game, I'm going to show you guys the best possible controller settings you can use. Whether you're new to the game, you're old to the game, it does not matter. I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to go through my graphics settings and everything like that. So you can be prepared to get as many wins as possible in chapter 5. First thing first, the controller I'm currently using is the Scuff Instinct Pro. Now, I don't normally use this controller, but the, the controller I was using broke. I was using the PS5 Scuff Reflex. Uh, it broke, so I'm using this temporarily. I did just in order the Scuff Envision Pro, which I'm super excited for. I did make a video on that, so I will be using that controller soon when it comes in. It should be this Wednesday, but it's all good. For now, we're using this, and it works. I mean, it has mouse click triggers, so has four paddles on the back. It looks amazing, feels amazing. I used it before, but it's not exactly what I want, so this will not be a permanent controller at all. Now, jumping straight into the settings, now we have the graphics settings. I do play on full screen with just native res 1920 by 1080 v-sync off you don't want to use this i have a 360 hertz monitor so i have it on 360 fps performance mode of course you want the lowest input delay and the most frames possible why would you not use this brightness at 150 user interface i don't know what this is let's keep it at one now my color is do turn up two. now this is a very big setting because it allows you to see through zone where a lot of the times you can't so turn your color to this and you'll be able to see through zone and fight in zone no problem at all <coughs> jumping down to the 3d res 95 percent now i use this because it gives you lower input delay and a little bit better frames but you don't see a quality difference at all i don't know what this is i just have it off you don't need it view distance near low 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 all low show fps of course i want to see my fps jumping over to this now my main region is east but i'm playing central right now just because i like playing it because it's the competitive region toggle sprint on auto open doors i use it mantle activation hold jump hold the swap pickup is really good it makes it so you don't have to spam uh, your inventory you can just hold the button down and pick something up instead of having to have weird inventory management it's super helpful auto pick up weapons i don't use some people do use this it helps you win off spawn like you're for your 50 50 in the chest it works i do use preferred item slots i use shotgun in my first slot smg in my second my fifth slot is assault rifle now going down to building i do reset building choice i don't remember what it does to be honest disable pre-edit options i don't use turbo building on i do not use edit on release or edit reset or whatever it's called i don't use any of that uh this stuff doesn't really matter this is all like personal preference kind of stuff record replays i keep that on and this energy saving stuff mine's on i don't know why but you want to turn this off it gives you better input delay when these two settings are off jumping over to my reticle i have it just on on list list works really good i think because it lets you know when you're hitting someone for white damage or if you're hitting them for shield it just lets you know i have hit and icons on the dumber and scale at max i just like it like this i don't know i think it works better for me hud scale is at 80 percent and then this is all you know personal preference stuff if you want to mess with i do not use gyro options no one should use these options okay they they might be the worst options of all time you don't want to use these ever I'll just go through my keyboard settings real quick. I play it sometimes, not all the time, but 3.1, 3.1, 50-50. With, I use building editing sensitivity. I have it up a little bit. Ignore gamepad. I normally, if I'm playing keyboard, I have these both turned on. Uh, keyboard movement. These are my, like, double movement settings for it. Mouse flight. I don't even know what that is because, I, like I said, I don't play it all the time. Jumping right over to the juiciest part, we have the custom controller settings. Now, I have these first two on. Edit hold time is at zero it doesn't really matter though because we have instant edit our slide hold time is 0.85 which is really good i think it's perfect i'm not sliding too much but i slide when i need to uh these settings don't really matter vibration i have it off it's personal preference though quick weapon again don't use these bro don't use these bro the this option sucks it's i think it's horrible i, I think everyone thinks it's horrible they tried though they tried to help us but it, that's not it <coughs> look sensitivity these are great because that we are using advanced options so we don't need these at all build it build is 1.9 which is pretty slow but like it's kind of perfect to be honest just try it test it out edit multiplier i did recently drop this i used to play on 2.5 now i'm on 2.3 i've learned that i get a little bit more consistent editing when i'm using this instead of really fast editing so it's kind of up to you if you want faster editing maybe use 2.5 if you want it kind of normal use 2.3 up to you now we are using advanced options so we have 43 43 on 2% boost for both. This is probably the best settings you can possibly use for it. I've used these forever. I I think 40, 43 43 is probably the perfect settings you can use. Like you can't get anything better. Instant boost when building. I don't know what this is. 
six percent six percent three three for my aim aim settings now i literally fry i don't miss shots out the air it's probably the best things you're going to use look dampening we don't use it i am on linear 100 percent aim assist like come on bro we need our aim assist bro left stick dead zones 10 10 i always keep it at that enable foot controller so you get that little extra aim assist boost you know what i'm saying accelerate thumbsticks on tank settings on i don't i don't really know about that stuff my sound settings everyone's sound settings different but i was going to go through mine real quick i have it at 45 and then I mean, it's kind of basic sound quality high 3d headphones on i like it like that now these are my keyboard binds i'll just go through them quick like i said i don't play keyboard all the time but if you do want to see them i have some pretty weird binds i'm not gonna lie now we have reloads obviously normal use the scroll wheel pick up harvesting tools my thumb mouse button this is when it's weird my wall is q floor is f stairs are e and my roof is left shift. I have all keyboard binds for building, no mouse buttons at all. Some people say it's weird. I like it. I don't know. It works for me. I can crank bit a bit, and I don't know. It's what I've used for a long time now. <clears throat> now, jumping over to my controller settings, I do use custom controller settings. I had it with left stick, as you can see. Now, I have four paddles. So, I have one paddle bound to jump, switch mode, pickaxe and sprint i'm not going to tell you the exact ones it's just those are the best possible paddles you can use in my opinion you can swap them around however you feel comfortable but for controller i think those are all the functions you need for back paddles because i don't want to be touching my d-pad every time i sprint and i don't want to be jumping and taking my finger off the analog stick and i don't want to be switch mode taking it off the analog sticks and same with my pickaxe i need all that stuff on the back of my controller so it's super helpful so my pickaxe again is on my back paddle jump and switch mode they're all really good so if you see a binder and you're like, man, why is he using it there? It's most likely on my back paddle. Now my build controls are all pretty normal. Like I said, still edit with left stick. Nothing crazy. My Now my edit controls are LT for reset, which is really good. It's like instantly, especially because I have mouse click trigger. So it's literally an instant reset. My RB is confirmed. I've always used this. That's why I wear this thing on my finger. That way I can slide in between my bumper and my trigger and, re and edit way faster than most people. Some people say it's dumb, but hey. I don't care. I mean, it works for me. It makes me happy. It's not bugging nobody. Who cares? That is all my settings, though, guys. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you use all these settings to go catch you some wins this season, man. This new chapter is going to be so fun. There's so many crazy mechanics that they're adding. There's so much new going on. They even have Lego collabs. Like, there's so much going on. So make sure you guys go get you some wins. Come back to this video. Tell me how these settings got you a win. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. One just small quick thing. Guys, I stream every single day on Twitch. The link will be down below if you guys want to watch the new season live. I'll be live there every single day, man. Go click that now.